Hi guys, so welcome back to the next series of weekly stock investments and trading ideas. So uh, right now we are on the nifty chart. So let's take a look at nifty chart and we can see that uh, a kind of lower high, uh, sorry, lower highs and lower lows forming. So but still, uh, I don't think based on the option chain where we can see that the nifty has a really strong support on 17,800 and pretty much on put option side we have a higher volume on 17,600 so it looks like uh, we have a bullish still we are in a positive market uh, based on the option chart so 16 17,600 was a good still a good support zone and we still have a higher OI on 18 70 yeah 18000 uh, index which is has around 17 uh, lakhs of volume over there so we can expect market to move pretty much upside and sideways so based on these uh, based on this nifty i have shortlisted three uh, of the i have shortlisted around three stock so let's take a look at the first one the first one that i'm gonna talk about is indian oil so let me just take indian okay so as you can see we have a good breakout and there was a strong higher highs and high lows forming and also here we have uh, this is actually a good support zone and with a good support zone and a small break breakout a channel breakout or a triangle pattern breakout we have a strong candles forming over here with good amount of volume there was a huge selling pressure over here but yes uh, there was a good strong breakout so we can have a uh, buy option or the going long option over around this range and keeping a stop loss at around 5 rupees below and you can target for 1 is to 2 so 1 is to 2 would be a good for this one because we have resistance over here right so having a target over here would be not a great idea not a recommended idea but this 1 is to 2 is a good idea so going long somewhere over here between 126 128 or 124 and a stop loss below this green candle so just below this green candle which is around with the buffer space we have 120 as the as the stop loss and we can have a we can ride the profit till 136 rupees so keep eye oil for in your watch list and it's a right now in a good zone to also buy and also you can see it is above 50 ma so above 50 ma means it's in the possible side and you can expect a good movement so keep uh, indian oil caught in your list if you want to go for the longer side and next is godrej consumers so in this uh, we can see that in the weekly chart which is the best time frame if you are doing for long term we have that a good support zone over 664 and it has taken good support zone and has given a good movement and also here uh, the 770 price range is a uh, good resistance and once it is broken it can act as a good support now so with this resistance becoming a support and as well in the daily chart uh we can we can see that this is a good support zone around so from here you can see a good movement has happened so having these in the mind i have decided that we can go long and also we can see a w pattern forming over here and w patterns are also good bullish moments so here has given a break a good breakout candle with a high amount of volume so indeed you can expect the price to move till 960 and you can ride your profits also by trailing a stop loss so 
going long over here and keeping a stop loss at 40 rupees below and your target you can keep 1 is to 3 for this year 1 is to 3 would be a recommended one so if you are going to win the trade you're going to get 3 percent of your capital if you're going to lose the trade you're going to lose 1 percent of your capital so with a good risk management you can still trade this uh, stock as well it's in a good support zone it has given a good w pattern breakout and we have also another support over here with huge volume with people interested to buy at 770 rupees and has given a good movement till 1103 so giving a good upside movement and the nifty being on the positive side with nifty being on the positive and the sideways side we can expect a Godrej consumer to give a good movement in the coming days so uh, investing at around 7 800 to between this range it's a good idea and you can try that out and one stock that i have listed for going short is uh, is jsw steel if you check out the weekly uh, chart we can check that it is in a good resistance zone so it is a weekly resistance which is like the second position of resistance a uh, strong selling point so if we can expect the market to or the stock to come up to 770 so don't go short over here but wait for the stock price to come till 770 and wait for the uh, to give a red kind of candle uh, let a red candle be formed so if there is a red candle forming over here uh, with rejections then you can go short and you can sell your stock over here and buy it around this range around 660 so because we can see a good down moment has happened over here and there is two possibilities since the nifty is kind of in a sideways also there is a chance for jsw to uh, have show a decent downward movement so going short would be a greater idea in my uh, opinion as well uh, in case let's say there is a green if a green candle forms breaking the higher so in that case you can definitely go for a breakout strategy so there are two possibilities for this stock so wait for the price action to happen around 772 if it's a green candle forming with a good volume and with a good bullish candle then definitely go long over here with your stop loss somewhere over here uh somewhere so let's say you're going long over here stop loss somewhere over here and you can definitely go for one is to two because breakouts always tend to give minimum one is to two and in case if it is giving a red candle a good bearish candle i'm not talking about a visible but bearish candle in that case go for a go for a short position so just consider it to be a red candle and you can always think of a good short position over here with stop loss above here and you can ride your profit still one is to one is to 2.5 would be good for this or one is to three would also be good for this so there is two possibilities for jsw steel so wait for the price action if it's a green candle and a good breakout candle with a bullish pattern go for long if it is a bearish pattern with rejections forming and a more of volume if you, you can actually check your volume over here so if it's more of uh, as you can see over here we have so much buying happening over here so, so much of bullishness and volume so i suppose it might give a good breakout over here so that's what my opinion is but uh wait for the price action that is the supreme tool in market in trading so that's all about uh, today and I just want to stick to 10 minutes of video so I'll catch you up next week with uh, next talks that I can give a good tip for trading so thank you.